back up to the property up here in southern Utah. Today we are taking a break from water, mainly because we're doing concrete tomorrow. Foundation blocking is all done. Still have these rebar bars sticking up. The J's are sticking up, so I gotta cut all them off. And then I gotta do a bond beam, a rebar around the entire perimeter. And then I'll be ready for grouting. Truck's supposed to be up here in the morning, as well as Brandon, our masonry guy. He's gonna come up and there's still like some joints that need filled up and everything like that. He's gonna fill it up. Well, he's gonna have like a, he has like a cake bag or something that just put all this stuff in there and fill everything up. So we're doing that tomorrow morning. Excited for that. So we're gonna get all this rebar knocked out this morning and uh, be ready. So we have the anchor bolts. I ordered 150 of them. The anchor bolts, they're 10 inches by half inch. And we gotta put them every three feet, I think it is. I gotta look at my plans, but every three feet. That way the green board can be bolted onto those anchor bolts. Anyway, let's get to work. So I, I cut off all the J's, they're all topped off. And then I went ahead and put the bonded rebar around the entire perimeter. We are good to go tomorrow. I do have to still, I think I'm gonna mark every two feet somehow on the block. So I know where to put the uh, anchor bolts. Anyway, or I'll just use a tape measure when I'm when I'm in the process of putting them down and everything like that. Either way, pretty much ready for tomorrow. Feels good to have all that done. Once it's grouted and the bolts are in there, we're ready for, we're ready to start building next spring. But anyways, I'm gonna take a break. It's hot out here. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, since the rebar is done, I'm gonna go back to work on the water and the, what I'm gonna try to do right now is I got my rotary laser out and then my solar shed's right here. So I'm gonna mark at, at the bottom of the solar shed to see if if I just put it on the ground, if it'll, where it lines up with those tanks. And if it's close to the bottom, I might just put it on the ground in the shed. But if it's like halfway up or whatever, then I'm probably gonna have to figure out how to put the pump over there or maybe put like a little boost pump over there. Either way, I gotta run electrical over there to get that taken care of. See where it marks, like where level at is at over versus the tank versus the, the solar shed. lining up like right there the outlet is like right here over in this corner over here i feel like if we put the pump in the bottom of the solar or the pump house it should be good it's almost level i mean i don't know unless it has to be below but even if i bring the pump over here it's going to be right at the same height so i feel like from either there or here it's easier to put it over there i'm just going to put it over there and replumb that area see what happens
All right, so you just saw, I found out that the base of the pump house is the bottom, pretty much like a couple inches from the bottom of the tanks. And so I think it's be it's gonna be perfect to sit right there. So what I did was I kind of moved the tank I am going to cut everything out and I took out the shelf and I'm going to put leave that right there and then I'm just going to do like a, a 90 from there to there so it's as low as possible. Right now I have these 2 by 4 sitting there. I'm going to make like a pedestal pretty much like a water heater pedestal and then I'm going to raise it up and then I have like about 6 or 8 inches on top of the pump if I need to mess around with anything and adjust the pressure on it and then that way then this thing will be sitting almost to the, the bottom plate at the top of the wall up here. I'll be able to save most of this tubing and just kind of cut some things here and there and try to make things work. And then I have some extra fittings. So I'm gonna see if I can get that to work. But right now I'm gonna build this pedestal, get this water uh, pressure tank on top of there and then see where we're at. After. built and I also put a couple of two by fours at the bottom to hold the pump that's where it's gonna sit now I gotta get that pressure tank on there and once that's on there then I can start plumbing everything up and hopefully this will do the trick <laughs> all right so I got the pressure tank up on the pedestal now now I'm working on I think I'm gonna route this I just need to twist this a little bit, but route this down through here and connect to that. It's gonna be pretty easy, I think. And then I just need to cut that off and route it to here. And then the pump will be hooked up back to the pressure tank. And then it just leaves me with this to here. I can try this all over again. <laughs> it looks promising, like the pump is almost to the bottom of the tank. So, I mean, it's within a couple inches. So I think we're gonna be good. I mean, I think we'll be good right now, but maybe when we get like, that bare, bare couple hundred gallons of the tank, it might be an issue, but hopefully we never get that low. I wanna keep it at least halfway full on all the tanks. That's my goal anyway, but you never know. But we should be good unless anything like that happens when we run out of water. Well, it turns out I don't have all the fittings that I need. Finish up the water. So instead of it's Sunday, everything's closed anyways. I don't think we're going into town today. He likes gloves. Yeah, give me back my gloves. All right, so next thing on the agenda, we're gonna go pick up some cats. I'm not a cat person, I'm actually allergic to them. Cats like to eat mice and we have mice. So we're gonna have cats that live outdoors and that we feed and everything like that. And then they hunt the mice for us and all that stuff. So we need to have a home for them and it's not gonna be in my shop because I can't do the dander or anything inside. Obviously that's not gonna work. So we got, we had a suggestion from somebody saying to do a cooler. So I have this, cooler it's an old cooler i'm about to cut like a little hole so that the cats can have a little home and then it's like insulated for the winter time and then i'll just put like a little pillow or something in there but uh yeah so i'm gonna cut a hole in this cooler and then that'll be their their home and then uh hopefully they'll do their job and take care of take care of the mice i've never had a cat before simply because i'm allergic i just hope i don't know if you guys have any advice on how to uh take care of these cats that live outside and what to do for them and blah 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 like and then hopefully they find the mice and take care of them but anyway i'm gonna cut a hole in this thing because i think after that we're gonna head over to the, our friend's house who we've never met i say they're a friend but we've never met them uh they have a plot of land up here next to ours somewhere and then uh, they're expecting us to come by sometime today and pick up these cats so let me get this done and we can go check it out kitty cat we did and they're gonna be like our little barn cats we're gonna try to get them a little bit older and then let them basically 
take care of any rodents that are coming our way. Check out our little kitty cats. Little baby girls, so we don't really know what to name them yet. I think one's Milo, right? We're gonna do Milo? Yeah, the mommy, her name was Shiloh. Shiloh. I think or something like that. And the dad's name was Manny, so we were gonna name one of them Milo. Think of some names you think we should name the cats. Put them in the comment section. Greetings, Char Chars. Nick and I have never owned cats before, so we don't really know a ton about them. But from where we got them, previous owners said to just put a box of dirt down for them as like kitty litter and then put them in an ice chest with a hole for insulation and everything so they can stay warm and then we just have to play with them daily and we'll probably just leave them here in the barn for a few more weeks and then we'll slowly start to acclimate them outside and get them we'll see if we can get Charlie to like them and if they can get to like Charlie because one of the cats already went at Charlie so <laughs> dog kennel bless you and we're gonna see how this works out for now we'll just do this I'll get them like a food and water dispenser everyone the sun is shining bright but there's a little bit of breeze so it feels pretty good out here today and we are ready to do some concrete again yes again so right now hubby is over here he's doing the anchors brandon we love brandon everybody loved brandon let's go brandon right everybody was yelling it in the comments brandon is doing all the the mudding and brandon what do you call this grout. the grout he's got his cake batter mix Oh, He's baking a cake over here. And then we have Mr. George and he is up here and he's going to be pumping the concrete into into all of our CMU blocks so we can have a study foundation. Ah, it's so exciting! I hear the concrete truck coming up the driveway. This is so exciting. We're using Sunrock again. We're big fans of them. I'm just like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I was going to say, no, but man, no. my elbow on it. He was saying it would just knock you on your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Is 
that good, George? Or I need to fill in that little area. You don't need to fill that. I don't. Oh, oh okay. Gunner would. <laughs> <laughs> Try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I you always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride uh, Head full of flies, so here come the clouds uh, They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh, yeah So I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence So flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Big thanks to Sunrock. They're always so good to us. Thank you.
the brown on me too. Well, we got the little kitties out and they're so cute. Hope they are adjusting well. We pet on them for a little bit. They were a little hissy at first, but then they let us hold them and pet them. So I'm hoping that they'll adjust. I don't really know what else to do. We put a little string in there. Maybe they can play with that. The meat chickens and the turkeys are doing great today. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out their brooder and I get them some fresh water and some more food. They seem to be eating more. They're real hungry these days. Like the minute I go and I put scoops of food in there, they're like attacking my arm. And I feed them, I feed them all the time. I feed them like like probably four, four cups every morning and night. So maybe they just want more. Oh, did you hear the kitty? The concrete is done, the footers are done, the anchor bolts are in, we are done with the house, anything for the house really until next, until we can start until spring, lumber. yeah. So it's good to have all that done. Now we can move on, check that off the list. We're headed back into town right now. We're gonna get hopefully, fingers crossed, last couple fittings for water. Yeah, big thank you to Sunrock, big thank you to Brandon and George and everybody who helped with our foundation of our house. It is going to be beautiful and we cannot wait. We're really, really excited. So thank you to all of you that follow. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Did you find what you were looking for? There's stairs right there. Well, that's one way to do it. Welcome to the pump house, where it's being <laughs> occupied by two amateur plumbers. <laughs> and a canine. <laughs> <laughs> so, we love going to the hardware store so much. <laughs> so, we love it there. I actually do love the hardware store. I do, but man, I'm ready to get this water done. I thought, of course, I always think I have enough of what I need. Uh, you'd think I would learn my lesson by now. Because all the people in the comment section yeah, say... Just buy a bunch of fittings and you'll use them eventually. Blah, blah, blah. And I... You know what? I probably should do that and I should have done that. But I didn't. So I can't finish the water like I want to. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I did get some fittings for the LP line, uh, so I'm just putting them on now. I did like a little elbow right here so it wasn't sticking out so far because we're putting the dryer right here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, what was that goo you had in your hand? Uh, it's thread tape, pipe thread sealant stuff. Instead of using like the thread, it's like the same stuff, but it's for, it says multi-purpose, but yellow is for, um, I thought it was for LP. I don't know. I just, I see the people using it online, so I think it's what you're supposed to use. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I did research. This is what you're supposed to use. <laughs> on the line. <laughs> on, on the line, yeah. Getting ready for this dryer to be installed. That's what I'm getting ready for. Oh, yeah, our, our uh, propane thing's going to be here on Thursday. So we are ready for that to be in here, that's for sure. Right? Yes. Your washer and dryer coming. Coming soon. Yes. To a YouTube channel near you. <laughs> we'll find.
good afternoon today. We're getting a slow start on today. We did a early morning run to town because uh, as you saw last night, we did not have the fittings, but I bought a ton of fittings today, way more than I need, just in case. We're gonna put this together and hopefully, I'm not gonna say hopefully, I'm gonna say this will be done today. <laughs> and it will work. Into the pump house. <laughs> Here we are. Round 17. 17, day three. <laughs> we got this. We hit up the, the hardware store. We picked up a ton of stuff. Show them our, our messy stuff. We now have a bucket. <laughs> just for fittings. Just for fittings. <laughs> just because all of you commented and said, just buy every fitting. <laughs> so here we are. Pray for us, this can be done, because we are a blessed mess right now. So everything's plumbed back in. Pumps down below now. The, we got a sediment filter right there, the shut off over there. It's a nice tight cluster of fittings, but it works. <laughs> now, the only thing they'd left to do is turn the shutoff valve open next to the tanks and they're still like 75% full, which should be up to like here. We should be good to go. They're coming out right there. That's a good sign. <laughs> Have this conversation with Tay Tay. Righty tighty left to Lucy. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this. Water working. <laughs> Down here, that that pipe comes from the tanks, mm -hmm. and then it comes in here. It's like I, there's a few things that are leaking. I gotta tighten up. Anyway, it comes in here. We got this filter, and then it comes to the pump, and it comes up through here into the pressure tank, and then we have a little faucet, like as a in case we need to like let something out. Come up here into the sediment filter, uh, and then we and then it, the, from the sediment filter goes into the active carbon. And then once this fills up, comes through here, and it comes to the the UV light bulb that like kills all the bacteria. And then after that, it comes up right behind here, and then down over there. And then that's the washer dryer outlet, mm -hmm. which is closed. I can turn it on right now, and water will fly out. 
and then that goes down to the spigot over by the trailer, and then that right there goes out to the little spigot Here. outside, yeah, for like a hose. Yes. Yeah, so, so this water will now be pumped to your trailer as well? Yeah, we gotta hook up to that spigot over there, we're gonna hook our hose up to it. And then I have a yeah. hose that will- is All of these different filters, can you drink this water now? I, I can test it, but you're supposed to be able to. They're supposed to be with that UV light. Yeah. And then I have, I have like eight more of these that I can change out. I got like up there in those boxes. Mm -hmm. Pretty clever for someone who didn't know anything about plumbing. Yeah, right? Right. <laughs> I like it. Check it out. We got water, Grammy. Cool. You, you saw me doing water when you when you came up. Yeah. Woohoo! Look at that! <laughs> nice, yeah. Daddy. Daddy did a good job. One more now, proud see moment, the pump, huh? The pump just came on, right? Yep, I hear it. <gasps> oh, my Dad, goodness. Dad. <laughs> well we got the water running there are a few fittings that are like dripping so i just didn't tighten them enough or and they're all like threaded on fittings they're not like the glued on ones just gotta tighten those up a little bit and that might require me to have to like take apart some stuff because it's all like hard lined in anyways but the water's done we have water pressure everywhere everything is working feels good to have that done it's been a long time coming <laughs> But uh, yeah, but my in, my in-laws are up here for the night. They're gonna hang out. We just had a b delicious steak dinner. And now we're gonna hang out for the rest of the night and relax. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, give it a big thumbs up, comment any questions that you guys have, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in a few days. Ah, set. Take it. Oh, see ya, bud. Good boy. Way to go, Charles. <laughs>